Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at all the new and exciting Class C's and Super C's for the Hershey RV show this year. Will and I, we walked through the whole display at Hershey to come up with a list of everything that was either new and exciting. We know you're really gonna like this list and we're starting in three, two, one. Great, so next up for Class C's is the all new East to West Entrada and with us is Mr. Tony Young. Thanks Welcome for back to the show. Thanks for having me, it's always a pleasure guys. So last time you were on the show, you only had the 2200S, which people loved, it was a big hit. What floor plans do we have here for Hershey? Today we still have the 2200S. We've got our 2700N, which is our no slide product. Okay. Our 2900DS. Okay. Uh, which is a dual slide, 32 foot, three inch coach. And then we have our 3100FB, which is our full wall slide bunkhouse. We're super excited about these. Perfect. Things. We're going to take a look at all three. And Tony, you know I'm most excited about this one. Can we take a look at this one first? Let's do that last. As you well know, we we got some input from you. We took that advice seriously, took oh. the uh, input seriously. So let's take a look at that last. Are you saying there's some features that was brought to you, not just by Matt's RV Reviews, but the Matt's RV Reviews community? That is what we're saying. Okay. And we appreciate it. Yes, yes. It is all thanks to you guys for commenting down below. Let's take a look at this uh, no slide unit. Perfect. All right. Again, we're making these two, three minutes long. Yep. So talk yep. to us on the outside, So, maybe. you know, basically on the outside, you're still looking at the same features that we had on the 2200S earlier. One piece molded fiberglass front cap, uh, two inch uh, Advil composite walls. Advil. And all those yes. things. So no D-LAM, double the R value of blue honor plywood and half the weight of blue honor plywood. Which cool. Which weight is critical. Perfect. We'll come on inside here. This coach, I love, because I love a no-slide coach, I love it being what it is once okay. we walk into it. So there's no slide in here, you still got a 60 by 74 walk around queen in the back. Uh, we'll nice go back here. Dinette, sofa, and we've got a bathroom that I think gives you prime pooping position. Uh -oh. I don't know, Tony. <laughs> I don't know. It looks a little tight. Porcelain. So it works for me. I don't think it's gonna work for Will. Oh, uh, so you're gonna make me be the bad guy? <laughs> no, you're not the bad guy, Will. <laughs> yeah, because of right here. Yeah, Will, Will's too tall. Just a little bit. For the average size person, yeah, it probably works. For us yep. normals. <laughs> We're not corn fed. But I love this because, listen, at the end of the day, this is a small motor home with no slide outs. But the light cabinetry and the light woodwork really makes it, really opens Open, it up and makes yeah. it feel spacious. I, mean, I don't this think is, I showed uh, this kitchen. You know, this is our standard granite peak interior, real hardwood cabinetry, plenty of stores. I mean, you've got open yeah. cabinetry, mm. uh, cabinetry, or excuse me, uh, oh, you even did a pantry. Sides, the dinette, a and pantry. then this one's a flat floor, right? This is flush All floor. Flush we only floor. have one model that doesn't have a complete flush floor. Perfect. With no heat ducts on the floor, so it's pet friendly. Nice. Yeah. All right, let's check out the bunkhouse. All right, let's hustle. Here we go now. We have two products on the E450, the 2900, which we'll show last, and our 3100. This is a 32-foot uh, uh, full wall slide bunkhouse. Super excited about it. We think you're going to love it. Cool. Let's go, go take first. a look. Outside kitchen or is that storage? No, nah, that's storage. Okay. Huge storage department there. So again, granite peak interior, light, fresh, bright cabinetry, 60 by 80 bunk up here, 12 volt TV so the kids can watch TV while you're bouncing down the road without the nice. generator on. Nice. Super nice there. Good size bunks. They're not flipping the bunks up yet. Leave a comment down below. Yep. Let them know if you want them to flip this up. <laughs> a lot of our, a lot of our uh, clientele or our competition has a 27 inch bunk. We actually have 30 inch wide bunks here. A little oh, bit is more it 30 wide? Yeah. Okay. Good to know. That's stuff that we don't Huge, know. huge bathroom. Yes. If we don't get a prime position out of this one, I don't know what's going Really? <laughs> is, oh, that, yeah. is that a test? <laughs> nice queen size bed, right? Yep. You want me to go in there, Matt? No, no, no. It's a okay. prime poop position. Okay. Yep. Cool. cool. Let's check out the 2900. Okay. Now, what's really exciting about this unit is. Tony called me two months ago, three months.
months ago and they were about to do one serious change to this and what was that uh, we were going to change the 82 inch u-shaped dinette into a standard dinette and matt talked me out of it i said no don't do it, don't do it. So, ho so hopefully you guys got to buy these now yeah <laughs> so this coach again is built on the e450 chassis 32 foot three inches long uh, we've got an 82 inch u-shaped dinette here standard sofa what we did really you know a lot of our competition has this with overhead cabinetry here and right. the tv is placed up here or they got a televator coming up here we positioned the tv here so we could get some overhead cabinetry yep. here and give you a bigger window here so yeah. a little bit yeah, wider sure. interior nice and Still i love plenty the of storage. storage i love the u yes no u-shaped dinettes just people don't do them you know what i'm saying right it's just so comfortable and nice to sit at and everything show the rest cool nice big shower here you have the uh, bathroom across from each other looks like a good toilet placement there one of the things we like about this is this piano hinge doors on a mat right okay so now you can get some privacy back there and plus there's a full curtain to separate the, bath the bedroom from the bath too so nice, nice. bedroom wardrobe area and i think that's all and well cool. this is one of those floor planes that you know slide outs break things break of course and even when it breaks you can still function the whole yes home, yeah which is really nice tony thank you so much for having yeah, us today it's always we appreciate a pleasure. it i well, appreciate it let's take a look at some more class c's all right next up for class c's is going to be the gulfstream conquest we don't know if any of these are new floor plans but we haven't had one on the show yet and the full body paint that they did looks actually fantastic it does go right here well um somebody can download the brochure if they scan okay. that qr code and then let's take a look at the inside of this again guys we don't know if it's new okay it's just your traditional i doubt this is a new floor plan right it's so simple it's so standard very nice Not oh yeah it looks great in a bad way theater seats across solid surface countertops dinette right here nice Split shower bathroom. back there yeah good size shower right here bathroom toilet right there i mean nice position and the bedroom right here something that i really like that they're doing is they actually have storage up oh, there wow which is just a nice touch yeah making this again maybe not a new class c but an exciting class c that we haven't seen on the show yet Let's take a look at another one. So to wrap up the 2022 Class C's, we're gonna end it with the Integra Esteem 27U. Now you guys have seen this for the past couple years on the show, but what is new and exciting to me is the partial body paint up. Oh yeah. Look at how good it looks. Look at how redesigned it looks. You know, everybody knows I love the 27U and everybody knows full body paint looks great, but well, full body paint's expensive. It is. And to make a good looking Class C without the full body paint, that's still giving you all the luxury features and amenities is huge it sure is nice cockpit area bunk over the cab yes sir nice living dining area kitchen yep small class c you guys know why we love king this bed. It's truly under 30 feet with a king bed with a separate bedroom with a 30 by 36 shower yes two ac units this unit is absolutely killing it and again it's not a new unit but that new exterior paint job looks so good that i wanted to wrap up the show with it and so those are all the new and exciting class c's for 2022. great so before i show you the next class c motorhome i want to take a quick second to thank the sponsor my waggle as you guys know my waggle is an rv pet digital thermostat monitor reader that tells you time temperature or the heat index in your rv it's the perfect way to safeguard your pet if you're an rver if you sometimes leave them in the camper unattended you 100 percent want a my waggle big shout out for sponsoring this video and stick around until the end because we have an actual customer testimonial that we met at the hershey rv show big shout out to my waggle let's check out the next class c motorhome Great, so next for Super C's is gonna be the Thor Magnitude and Omni. Now, the actual motorhomes themselves haven't changed. If it's not broke, don't fix it when it comes to the floor plates. But with me is my really good friend, Garrett, and he has his own YouTube channel, 
Garrett, how do you say your last name? Liebertowski. Garrett Liebertowski, we're gonna leave that down below. He's the factory rep for Thor, and really what I wanna focus on is for their bigger floor plans, you went from the F550 to the F600. Talk to us about that. Correct, so the big thing we wanted to do was increase pretty much the carrying capacity. Okay. Um, and also the weight capacity. So when going to the F600, it really is a 22,000 pound chassis. Okay. So the F550 is technically a class five truck since it has a GVWR of 19,500 pounds. Okay. The F600 kind of splits the difference between a class five and class six. Okay. Because class six traditionally is 26,000 pounds GVWR. Yep. Where this has a 22,000 pound GVWR. So it really sits in a class of its own. Uh, but with that added weight capacity, it gives us more options for the floor plan. Uh, but the big thing with this is, if you look on the door, you pointed out in a few of your videos, is your carrying capacity on the inside here is 3,339 pounds. Wow, and what was the, this is model 34 SV? No. No, this is RS gonna be the RS36. So this okay. is the bunk model. Then you also have the bath and a half. What was it when it was on the 550? Probably less than half of that. Oh, wow. wow. So you're doubling, you're doubling the cargo carrying capacity with the uh, 600. Exactly. So it really increased that. So a lot of customers want those that really heavy duty payload capacity, but that's a lot of truck to deal with. So this gives you that heavy payload, but in a smaller package that you can really take into a lot of tighter spaces and be very more maneuverable, uh, but still have that higher payload that a lot of customers want. Nice. And then uh, one thing that I am noticing, and correct me if I'm wrong, four by four. That correct. wasn't available on the bigger no. magnitudes, but now it is. Correct, yeah. That's so that probably was, a weight issue as well, right? Exactly, because yeah. the four by four actually added a little bit of extra weight and we didn't want to add that in there. So now by going to the F600, the whole lineup is four by four now. Nice. So that's a big, big change to talk about. And really, you're not going to notice any difference just looking at the F600, which is kind of a nice thing. Yep. Um, but just has a lot of hidden features underneath that you're not going to see. Perfect. And again, we'll link down all our Magnitude Omni videos down below. And we'll also link Garrett's channel. Thanks so much. Anytime, brother. Appreciate it. Well, let's take a look at the next Class C. All right. Next up for Super C's is the all new Renegade RV. This is the Explorer, and I don't want to call this a Super C. I want to call this a Super Duper C. Look at this awesome Freightliner chassis. It's huge. And I know nothing about it, so with us is Dwayne from Rev Group, Renegade RV. Thank you so much. Yes. Tell us about this awesome product. All right, brand new, just bringing it back out. Okay. Uh, on a Class 8 uh, Super C chassis Freightliner. It's a little over 40 foot long, um, beautiful exterior. I mean, as you can see, that thing just looks awesome. Yes. Uh, it is a true Super C coach. So from the outside in, you're gonna be able to tow anything you want. You got all kinds of capacity for, uh, for uh, storage. And on the inside, it is completely beautiful. Look at that. Look at these tires and everything. 315s, 80s, R22.5. I love how you guys painted the um, the fiberglass here. And traditionally, with with these Mega Super C's, you don't get a ton of storage. You're still getting you're getting Class A type of storage on this. Yeah. And then, so for the towing, you can see that you have this awesome heavy duty hitch. It is a twenty thousand pound hitch, and this motorhome truly can tow twenty thousand pounds. Okay. Start back here. Nice bathroom, good toilet position. I think, yep, washer dryer. Nice vanity bathroom area. Good size shower. Nice wardrobe space. Nice king size bed. And check this out. Bath and a half. Looks like another good toilet position. Yeah. Nice bathroom overall. Now, Dwayne, you were saying that you guys have a YouTube channel yourself? Absolutely. So we're going to link uh, the YouTube channel of this product down in the description below. Make sure you guys subscribe to Renegade, to Rev Group, their YouTube channel if you want to see the full walkthrough. But tell us what we got going on in here. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Super Seats because I feel like you're spending a ton of money on the chassis and it's really taking it away from the inside. 
if we started inside, I, I, I would think this is a class A. Yeah, well, from, from this point back, it, yeah. it's, it's basically... The, it's the amazing. Seat. I mean, the slide-outs are it huge. It is, yeah. You know? What you get, though, in, in, a, in a Super C, it, it's the cockpit. Yes. So, so you're sitting here in front of a hood. You're not like in front in a class A that you've got a big windshield that goes on. This is more automotive feel, big yes. truck feel. So it, it's... <laughs> <laughs> It's going to give you that uh, that that a little bit more comfortable feeling for driving. Yes, absolutely. Air ride seats, you know. So it's it's got all the creature comforts there. It's got everything, all your nav. It's it's going to give you all your your uh, cameras for side, rear um, viewing. So you, you're you're all set there, and it's basically just like driving a big truck. Yeah. Nice. No, I love it. In, in the space in here. And then not only that, another thing that, that gets me with Super C's that we see a lot on our show, it's it's more catered to to a more to, to more guys. Where this, my wife would look at this, I mean there's no other way of saying it. She would look at this and she would like the interior decor right, section in here right, as well. For sure. You know what it's like? And it's like that rev group. It's like you're getting the check. You know what it's like? It's like you got the Renegade collaboration with Fleetwood almost with the right. interior decor choices, which right. I really like. We're a huge fan of. Well, it's definitely elegant. Uh, still has uh, some of the things that made Renegade Renegade with uh, with the cabinetry. You, know, okay. you, you, have, you have very nice top high-end cabinetry throughout the whole coach. Um, you know, solid surface counters, residential appliances, big TVs, fireplace. Yes. I love it. You know, uh, great tile flooring. It, it, yeah, when the it slides are nice. out, we've got opposing slides in this. So shoot, it's like a dance floor in here. Right, it's huge. It is, is there any other new Class C's for uh, Super C's for 2022? We just introduced, uh, well, a redesign on our Veracruz product. Let's go, take a look. Great, so next up is Veracruz. As you can see, it does sit on the Ford F550 chassis. And I love the bunk over the cab with the windshield. That's one of our, our favorite things. What can you tell us about this unit? Totally redesigned. We just uh, started from the top down on this. Uh, all new fiberglass up front, like you said. We, uh, we added the um, uh, the windshield, the, the window up front on top. Yes, sir. Um, again, all into the transitions down the side. Put on a new uh, splash of paint on this. Even this is nice looking. Yeah, yeah. It, it is. just makes it look mean. Exactly. Right. Yep. Exactly. Then what we did is uh, in the previous years for the Veracruz, before the redesign, it was a 35 footer. Now we're down to 30 feet. Wow. And instead of taking a bigger motor home and trying to condense it down and put it on a on a F550, we took a sprinter design, which right. these are just going crazy right yeah. now. Yeah. And we put a sprinter on steroids, and that's what you <laughs> well, 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 come here. Stand right in the middle and spread your arms out. Okay. Like this. Like look at how short that motor home is. Like you know maybe four of you would stretch across it right and when you see the floor plan this is the winnebago navion 24d floor plan let's take a look at the inside okay of it. that's crazy after you will okay yeah this is uh what's the towing on this it sure is man it's uh like you said, exactly like that floor plan. Yeah. Nice bunk over the cab. Right, and this is what people have been asking about because people want super seats. They want that safety. They want yeah. that front cab, but they don't want big. Right, and they want more CCC than the Mercedes can offer. Right. Correct. And that's what we got. When we chop this down to 30, we've got nearly 3,000 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. Wow, that's three times as much. Exactly. And you're still getting that diesel, you know, you're right. still relatively. Yeah. Know, stay good gas mileage in a motor home, but you know what I'm saying. Plus and then a bigger bathroom. When we, when we redesigned this, you'll notice the, the inside is more contemporary looking. We did the painted cabinetry, solid surface in here, still residential in the microwave. Yeah. I mean, it's it's got a ton of storage, Murphy bed plan. This breaks down into a bed. You've got uh, sleeping over top on this. Awesome. I mean, all kinds of good stuff going on. It's just a great little motor home. Is there any other new Super C's for uh from Renegade? For 22, this is what we've done. I love it. Yeah, looks so great. So that's it for uh, Rev Group and Renegade. Let's take a look at another Super C. So next up for Super C's is the all new Dynamax Europa. And with me is Jim, the RV concierge on YouTube. What's happening? I linked his page right there. Make sure everybody subscribes. Jim, 
Tell everybody what's going on. So this new Dynamax Europa is a brand new product. Yes. And you said M4 the other day, but you corrected yourself. It is an M2. Yes. 106B. Wow. So 6.7 uh, ISB motor, 360 horsepower, 800 torque. This guy has a 15,000 pound hitch on it because it has the 3200 Allison truck transmission. But it's so small, How? how what's the length? 33 foot, man. Man, I love that. Let's check out the inside. It is gorgeous. People have been asking about this. This is probably the number one, the number one requested Super C on the market today. We got the little cockpit area. Look what they did with the white cabinets. It's beautiful. I think everything's going to be trending towards whites and grays. Yep. Ceiling is beadboard okay. instead of the padded foam. They just they just got everything in this little guy. Not only that, I think this is the way the market's going. People want big, powerful, strong. They want the safe cab. But they also don't want a 45 foot tag axle. You got it. You so got look it. what we got here, guys. We got a nice sofa. That's a sleeper. Cap and cabinetry, dinette area. That's a sleeper. How many of these have you sold so far? Um, three. Okay, that's awesome. I don't think we're getting any more for 2022, but they said they're gonna find us some spots. So now, Jim, tell me what other Super C's that you sell. So I sell pretty much every Super C aside from the Jayco products. So we have uh, Thor Magnitude, Nexus. Uh, Renegade, Dynamax, uh, what else? Is there more? Integra? <laughs> uh, we don't sell the Injector okay, stuff. Okay. That's the only Super C's that we don't sell. We so, have everything. So you would consider yourself a Super C specialist? I am. Okay, Jim, how do people get a hold of you? They can reach me by cell phone at 609-350-8140 or just reach out to me through my YouTube channel, RV Concierge. Thank you so much for showing this today, Jim. And guys, right, I'm telling you, if you're in the market for a Super C and you don't subscribe to your ch his channel, you're doing yourself a disservice because I can say this not in an arrogant way. I feel like I know a lot of products better than most people. There's nobody smarter in the RV industry than Jim. Make sure you guys subscribe. I'd link his channel down below. Great, so those were all the new and exciting Class C's and Super C's that were available this year at the Hershey RV Show. Do us a huge favor, leave us leave down in the comments below. Let us know which ones you liked or which one you didn't like. Let us know if you bought one from the Hershey RV Show, if you didn't buy from the Hershey RV Show. Make sure you stay tuned at the end for the My Waggle testimonial. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much to My Waggle. Let's check out that testimonial. Hey everyone, we are here at the Hershey RV Show and a fan, customer, friend was walking by and she said that she has a My Waggle and it worked great. And I was like, well, what do you mean it worked great? It's good that it works great, but you said it different. She said it worked great. So customer testimonial time, tell us the story. I left the RV to go food shopping. I got the alert that the power went out and it ended up being out for hours and I was able to go back and get my dogs. Nice, and where were you? I was in Sturbridge, Massachusetts. Okay, and what was the temperature at the time? About 78. Okay, okay. So, you know, with sunshine, listen, even though it's 78 degrees, you guys see me do these RV reviews and it can get hot in the camper. And yes, everything probably would have been okay, but if you were in Las Vegas, Nevada, or Florida in the summer, or if you were in Massachusetts in the winter, it definitely could have gone south quick. Absolutely, we full time, so we look forward to it in the winter as well. Nice, nice, you full time? We do. What, what type of RV do you have? We have a Cedar Creek 38 EBS. Nice, nice, and so then what did you do after you got the notification? I went back and I just brought them in the car with me and ran my errands. And how long was the campground out of power for? Uh, probably a good six to seven hours. There you go. Even though she was at a campground and even though she was hooked up to power, there's things that can still always go wrong that we have no control over. Thank you so much for telling us. You're welcome. And thanks for showing us the product. Awesome.